Yeah, I think, you know, the overall application of AI across spaces is now becoming very exciting. You have the customer facing end, which is how can AI interact better with customers. So completely automated branches, people list branches, stores that are completely being manned by AI. This started coming out. We've launched a couple of them internationally as well. So understanding a customer's speech, his gestures, his voice, and then interacting with them end to end. So that's becoming a big area. Uh, and then predicting on the other end is also becoming a massive area. But I feel as a threat to jobs, maybe it will it will augment jobs. So, you know, a sales guy that's performing at X can suddenly now perform at 1.7x, 1.8x because he has an AI powered engine supporting him, telling him what to sell to that customer. So it will definitely augment jobs. It will definitely involve some shift in the trajectory of jobs, right? So there'll be the lower end jobs that will now need to get upskilled to the next level. But as a job market as a whole, I think it'll actually expand it. So, you know, if you see Back in 1960-62, when the ATM was first developed, everyone said, oh, now tellers will not be there in branches anymore, and there'll be this massive decrease. But if you see, I think about over 30 years, tellers have actually increased by 20%. Their task of giving out cash is massively reduced. So I think that's the similar kind of trend that you'll see the economy will expand, the capabilities will expand, and therefore jobs will actually uh, increase rather than decrease on that side. Yeah, I think in terms of regulation, there's a lot of interesting talk in terms of, you know, what is ethical for an AI to do, what falls within the model realm, uh, within the whole AI sphere. Uh, I feel we're still a little far from the stage where we need to worry too much about, uh, you know, making rules for an AI. I think today we build very narrow domain AIs that can evolve really well on a particular task, but they're fairly well bounded and controlled into a particular environment that they run in. So I feel regulation still not kicked in too much. I guess when we move to the open domain, the generalistic AIs that can start making really smart decisions across domains, that's when we'll really need to start worrying about regulation, ethics and morality. But I think for now, the existing architecture that we have uh, kind of fits within AI. So an example would be, when we actually do predictions in a branch of what product to sell to a customer in a store, uh, the AI doesn't get access to gender data or uh, color person's race. So that's kind of automatically following the existing banking realm of saying you can't make decisions for a customer based on his race, applying it to the AI by saying, okay, you're not even getting access to this data to make this decision. But essentially, I think working within the existing framework of those different industries, AI can be still very well regulated. Uh, and we can hold on for the master AI uh, ethical dilemmas a bit later on. <laughs>